Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Renaissance and I am back with another playthrough and it's uh, the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. What the hell? Sure, let's start it up. It being based on a book, you get a little bit of a story here. Mm-hmm. Okay. There, well, there it is. Really sets it up, doesn't it? So, first of all, we're going to play a little Donkey Kong here. Um... I know what you're thinking. Why the hell are you playing this game? This game sucks. Uh, oh, God. There's a trick here, by the way. You don't really have to do anything. Just let those guys jump right over you. Um, I will get into that in a minute. First, I just want to talk about the game real quick. You collect T's. Top left corner, you get a 1 right there, because I just collected 1 T. I think you get 20 T's, and you get a new man. However, I believe... There are unlimited continues in this game, so I don't really see the point of getting the T's, so I pretty much just ignore them. I just try to get through the game and, well, avoid mice like that. And just run through these guys because they jump right over you. Alright, back to my first question. Why the hell am I playing this game? I just did a playthrough of Battle Kid, and that game is a friggin' masterpiece, and now I'm here and playing this garbage. Oh god. Mmm. Well, what I was gonna say is. No, it's not the best game. It's not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, that's close. One hit deaths, by the way, so I gotta be careful. It's... Well, hang on. I gotta fight this stupid mouse now. Is he dead? No, he's not. Oh! oh. Where is he? Don't jump. He's gonna shoot his shockwave at me, and I'm what scared. Where are you? Die! Okay. T? Sure. Okay, so... This is something I love about the NES library. First of all, hi, Fish. Hello. 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 Um, Hello. There are so many games, and no, they can't all be great games. Don't shoot your ink at me. These guys shoot your ink at them, and uh, what? No, they don't. They shoot their ink at you. And uh, it's kind of random. Sometimes you die. Sometimes you just turn blue, and then you get shot again, and you go back to being normal. I don't know. Whatever. Well, I didn't make the game. Um, God, can I just stick to... See? Oh, God, I thought I got hit. I need to stick to my, my points here. Um, huge library. Some fantastic games. But you know what? They can't all be great games. Some games are just those sort of mid-rangey games that... not They're not necessarily terrible games. And this is one of those games for me. Um, is it the best game? No, of course not. But I find it really fun. And look at this. You got like a Mega Man-style boss here. I gotta give him pink eye. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Wow. And there's no... There's no way... Okay, it just stops. And there you have it. Level one. So, yeah, you know, I love the the sort of... Um, the chance you take with a lot of games like this. You're just like, yeah, this game could suck. And you know what? Sometimes they really do. And... And you just don't have them in your little collection, right? Unless you're one of those weirdos who wants to collect every single game for no reason. And then never play them. Now they're not weirdos, I get it. But I just mean I like to have a collection of games that I like to play. And the reason that this game is in my collection is that I think it's fun. Um, is the whole thing a masterpiece? No. But there are parts that I really enjoy. Here's what I don't enjoy. Having to jump over a bridge. There we go. Um, so I picked this game up about a year and a half ago or so at a convention that I've gone to twice up in Connecticut. Um, and I kind of had... I was on the lookout for it. Oh, God, where do I go here? Oh, God, no. Oh, God, this is not good. Yeah, I kind of had it in my mind that I kind of was curious about picking this up. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Tommy. Come on, baby. Don't get stuck. Don't get, don't get stuck. Come on. There we go. And I saw it, and I think I got it for like 10 bucks, and I said, okay. The thing is, with this game, it, it looks like a very not well-made game. It's it's not great graphically. Ooh, I got a star. Star makes you invincible. That is a slingshot, and it kind of upgrades your weapon for a little while. Um, yeah, it's not a very pretty-looking game. The sprites are really plain, not very detailed. But the gameplay is good. And the level design, I think, is fun. 
I mean, as you see, we're, we're two levels in and already we're doing a little overhead sort of river rafting adventure. Got another slingshot here. And if I can do it, if I can get to the end of this level, there's a gigantic alligator I have to kill. I have a serious fear of alligators. But that's for another time. You got huge frogs that are... Okay, buddy, don't kill me. Uh -huh. Alright. Some of the music is not bad. Um, I love the boss music. I think that's my favorite, favorite tune in the game. It's very, like, almost whimsical and cute. I like things like that. Oh, or this asshole is shooting his little pellets at me. Alright, this part coming up is pretty tricky. Alright, now where the hell am I gonna go here? Do I go left? Okay. I think I go left up here, too. Let's try it. Oh, God. Looks like this guy's shooting at you, and you gotta jump. Don't... Okay, buddy, okay. I find it helpful if you... Oh! oh, man, that was close. You jump right when the raft is about to hit the little land bridge there, like that. And I think we're good now, okay. Okay, so I think the boss is coming up here. Um, yeah, he's coming now. Look at the size of this thing. The reason I'm so deathly afraid of alligators is, one, they're terrifying, I mean, whatever, but it's more the s where they are. Like, in a swamp where you can't see, the, the water's all dark and you can't even see where they are below the water. It's freaking terrifying. Alright, this is very weird. Stop hitting me, whirlpool. You hear that sound? Right there. That's when you know you're hitting him, but I, I really don't understand when you hit this guy and when you don't. It's a little... There we go. Just gotta kinda... There he goes. Is he dead? Look how terrifying that guy is. Jesus Christ. But we got him. Nice. Alright. Stage three. We're going to the old woods now. See, see what I mean? This is just... The, the color palette is very bland. The music's not great. You'd think I'd hate this. I hate this game, but I really don't. I think it's charming. Eh. Can dunk after that guy. Okay. There are six levels to this game. There is a crazy beaver coming at me. Okay. So, wow, hi. They're being, okay, so there's a slingshot you can see in the side-scrolling level. Um, so I'm gonna try to do this in two parts. So first three levels, at the end of this level, I will be bidding you adieu and then coming back for the end of the game. We'll see how that works out, shall we? Okay, so now, yeah, that doesn't that doesn't last. The slingshot does not last. It goes away after a little while. Look at this guy. Hi, give me a lift, will you? Thanks, sir. That is very helpful because that that part's kind of a nightmare. And there's a part coming up here. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> All right. Oh, I think I just hit the checkpoint. That's lucky. All right, what I was about to say is there is a part coming up here where there is a bit of an Easter egg, which is really cool, I think. If I can find it. Oh, let me f let me first get rid of these guys. Okay, is it here? I think it might be here. You gotta hit. The you gotta hit like there, or maybe it's oh there he is. Oh, did you see him? He gives you a one up. Look at this guy. You hit like the middle of the mushroom right there, like the, the lid of the mushroom. The cap, if you will. I don't think it's called a lid, right? <laughs> lid, cap, close enough. And he pops out and he gives you a one up. I think that's cool. I mean, again, they put at least that much thought into this game where they put a little Easter egg in there and it's cool. So just give this shot, give this game a shot, it's fun. All right, this part is not fun. Oh, these guys are like the frogs in battle, kid. Dead. Oh, there he is again. Thank you. See you. See, the good part is the checkpoint's right there, so if you do die, you can just get another one up again. But as I said before, I think there are unlimited continues here, so I don't really think it matters. I'm gonna go down this way, because those guys scare me. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so these stupid frogs. So yeah, just like in Battle Kid, they just jump right at you. And uh, they're scary. This part I don't like at all. Okay, there are these crazy monkeys in this tree. In these trees. Oh. And uh, the jumping's a little weird here because... Uh, shit. Like, you you can jump across the, the trunk of the tree there, and yet it's like you can't sometimes. It's weird. It kind of stems back to the control not being so brilliant in this game, but... Whatever. See, I can't get up there. If I jump before it... Okay, there. That's, that's the trick. Oh, my lord, that was close. Alright, I think we're coming to the boss here. Yep. And this is a uh, Voltron ape. Voltron monkeys. Check this out. Oh, hi. You're huge. Okay, he's gonna shoot his Jimmy the Meatballs on me. And just shoot him in the face. And he goes all psychedelic Technicolor dream code on you. Okay. SpaghettiOs. Okay, he's already dead. Not very difficult. But there you have it. All right, folks. Well, that is part one of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Come on back. We're going to take on stage four, five, and six. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.